thought I would show how I'm replacing the wheels on my tractor cart. Apparently if you go to Lowe's you can buy a universal fit wheel. It looks like this. And this is for wheelbarrows and um, these utility carts. So the first thing you do is these things are actually held on by a cotter pin. So it looks like this and just goes through the center. You pull the cotter pin out and then the old wheel will just lift off. So Hang on, it's a little hard to do this uh, one-handed. Once the wheel is off, you can see it down there, that leaves the bare axle. You can see that. And then, when you try to fit your new universal fit wheel on, it may go straight on or it might not. In my case, so probably can't see down there at all but in this case the axle is larger than the opening in this universal fit wheel so then what you do is you take an implement of some sort that can poke through and I just use this extension that's broken I think this is a quarter inch extension you just go right inside, and there's a lip. And you just beat on it with this part out in open air, of course, and it will come out. And the part that comes out looks like looks like this. It's just it's pressed in. So this is a uh, wheel bearing, presumably for a wheelbarrow. I don't know. Mine doesn't use this. And there's two of them. There's one right here. And there's one on the opposite side. So you beat both of them out. And that will leave you with a wheel opening. Let's try the other side. It will leave you with an opening like this. At this point, you take these black adapters. They're all just zip tied on. Cut the zip tie. Release the adapters. And you put the appropriate adapters in for your axle size. My axle is apparently three quarters of an inch. Um, it's the wrong cover. If you look here, it will not focus. Okay. This says it will fit axle sizes five eighths or three quarters of an inch, but it says five eighths is installed. Three quarters of an inch, of course, is six eighths, and mine just barely didn't fit inside this bearing. So I assume it's uh, three quarters. After that, you take your adapter here and you just insert it right into the hole. And then what should happen is, there's not a wheel in the way, the wheel will fit on. What you need to do is inside this plastic, between the axle and the plastic, you need to add um, axle grease. And then you put the cotter pin back on and you're good to go. Also a note, when you install this, you don't want it this, um, you want this face in and you want the face that has the um, air fill facing out. So this is backwards. What you really need is that. So you have the air fill facing the outside. Another issue I ran into, if you look right here, there's a threaded hole. What goes in that threaded hole is a grease fitting. However, and let's see, here it is, this grease fitting. However, when this is installed, this threaded portion right here right on the outside there whoops it sticks in too much and then it impedes this adapter from seating all the way and that's a problem so i need to remove the entire fitting you can see it installed over here i just took it out with pliers and my hand so after that 
you should have brand new wheels on your utility trailer or on um, wheelbarrow. Hope that was helpful.